Hey, welcome back. I want to talk to you about a problem that someone posted on the Elemental Facebook community group. And they said they wanted to do, well, look at this image over here, over there. And they, they basically said they wanted to have some columns and there's some text, but they want to have this green border with a leaf going around it. And there, there are ways that you could be really sophisticated and use lots of, you know, styling and particular like coding so that you have this like ever growing like uh, border with a leaf and it always sets in a certain format. I wanted to give them a really simpler solution. I'm going to show you how we do that. And we're just going to use an image and some Z indexing to basically get the same effect. We might not even need the Z indexing, by the way, but we're going to do a really, really simple way of getting this done. Now, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow because we love having you. Now, how did we solve this problem? Well, first thing that we did, we did was kind of imitate um, that design in uh, Canva. This is just a green square. Over here, I have some uh, little white boxes so I can hide some of the, um, the green box border. And over here, I just have a leaf, right? It's just a leaf like that. Look at it. And um, just a plain leaf. And then I repositioned it to look a certain way. So you can see what I've done there. So I get that effect. Then what we've done is we've downloaded that. Okay, so we're on Elemental. We've, I've put in a section with two columns. I'm just going to give this about 50 margins. So it's just down in the middle of the screen. Now, that image we created in Canva was 330 by 330, okay, just so we get a bit of a bordering. I'm just going to make sure that over here, this section is uh, 660. So we've got 330 plus 330, yeah, and I'm going to have a no gap and the height, which is going to set to be a minimum height like that. Okay, fine. Nothing crazy going on there at the moment. I'm now going to dump into here that image. So I'm going to go over to my column style the background type, and I'm going to bring in that image. Now, when you add in the image, it's going to look ridiculously weird because it's now there's no content in there at the moment. So I'm just going to add in the content and we'll mess around with the styling. I'm going to go over to text editor and just drop the text editor in and I'm going to make it a little bit just lengthier, something like that, okay? You would obviously play around with it to have the right um, uh, lettering in there. It's at the moment crossing over the borders of that gray outline, but don't worry about that just yet. What I'm really worried about is the imaging at the moment or the, the, the image with inside the column. I'm going to go over to my style. I'm going to set this to be center center. I'm going to say that this is a scroll background, not fixed, no repeat. And I'm going to set this to be a contain. Now, when I do contain, it is now the full size. If I'd gone for cover, Cover works as well, to be absolutely honest. The only difference is both that it might start to look very different. So be very controlled on the size of your columns. Otherwise, one column might look bigger. The image is going to look bigger than another one. I mean, we could go with cover, to be honest. I mean, this is just another way of doing it. I'm now going to go over to my uh, text. In fact, no, not text. I'm going to go to the column. Go to margin and padding. And in the padding, I'm going to add in about uh, 30 is you could add in a, some spacing. The trouble with a spacer though, if I add it in here, like that, it's, it, 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 the text, it's underneath the text. Does that make sense? Whereas if you were to do what I've just done, which is I go to my column and I increased my uh, uh, top and bottom padding to be like 100, 100, that now is kind of working a lot better. I could now take this text and let's just paste this over here, like so. So um, I'm not doing this very well, am I? Let me just do it again. Let me just do that. Let me go here. Let me put this one back to about uh, 30, 30, no, not 30, 30, 40, 40. There we go. No, I think 50, 50 was okay. 50, 50. There we go. Right, 50, 50. And that we got there. Let's just pick up that text. Let's get rid of this text. Let's paste the text in there. All right. So, you know, uh, uh, what you will want to do, though, is copy the styling. Uh, and then just get rid of the background image that we have over here. So what we've now got is we've got the background with the text. Next door to it, we've got the text again. I'm now just going to do a duplicate of that. I'm going to get rid of this padding we have here, so bring it up a bit closer. I'm going to swap these two over like that. I'm just going to move myself over here for a moment just so you can see it a bit better. Okay, I'm going to add in the image again. So I'm going to go over here, go to styling. I'm now going to add in the image again. 
Why am I adding it in twice? Because now I'm going to have one that looks totally different. So I've got the same image. I go to edit and I'm going to rotate and rotate again. So now I've got it going the other way around. Uh, just hit save over there. And we're going to insert that. And as a rough and ready way of doing what that person wanted, okay, we now have, if you can see there, that kind of effect. I haven't stylized it completely the same, you know, so don't everyone go, oh, it's not looking exactly the same. Um, I'm just trying to get across a way of how you could have that kind of styling. You know, he's obviously got a wider um, cell or a box. So it's the height is less than the width. I've gone for an equal height, equal width. But the effect is kind of there. And you might want to you might want to have a completely different image because the leaf is now the wrong way around. But you create your images, you add them in, and then you can have them set on your background. And that's just a quick and dirty, easy way without messing around with any code on how to do something like this. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I helps I hopes it helps you out. You take care.